Hey guys, uh, welcome to my uh, second show on uh, uh, Springbok Selections 2018. Uh, obviously with a special emphasis on, on obviously England coming in June. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to look at, at, at the various positions. I, uh, this is my second in, in, in seven shows. Uh, uh, this, this today will be on the lock pairing. Uh, the previous show was on uh, the, the front row. Uh, I had a few comments about the front row, but it seemed like I was pretty, uh, pretty much on the money uh, with the front row. But now I'm going to go look at the second row. So obviously, there's a few players in contention for 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 the second row. I'd say, uh, without a without a shadow of a doubt, probably uh, a shoe in would be obviously Ibn Etzbeth. Uh, I think you can't you can't talk about the top five locks on the planet without adding him to the list. I think he brings that kind of uh, aggression and uh, dominance that uh, that that a, a lock should should bring. I think he's I think he's not a traditional enforcer. I think he's got a lot more skills than that. And I think of all of all the players, maybe besides Malcolm Ox, uh, if you think of of a Springbok team, he would be included straight off the bat. Uh, I think our, our problem is is who's who's he paired with. I think uh, traditionally, I'd say the best lock pairing at the moment is probably Brody Retallick and Sam Whitelock. Uh, I think Brody Retallick is just f a phenomenal player, and if he didn't have that personal tragedy last year, I'm sure he would have been player, will player of the year. Uh, he's just he's just that good. Uh, I, I hate to say it, but he he might be a better rugby player than uh, than Eben, but I think Eben is is a much better. Brings a lot more dominance than 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 Brady Retallick. So, I, I, look. In, in all fairness, if I was choosing a world fifteen, I'd probably have Brady Retallick and Evan Elizabeth as as my locks. I I I I, I, I doubt many people would uh, would disagree with that. But obviously, I've got to look at I've got to look at the pairings, and I've got to look at the the other players. So there's a few players in contention with uh, for for the number five position because. I've always I've always looked at the lock pairings as you have the enforcer, Bucky's Boerter, or something something to that effect, and then somebody who's like a real uh, liner tactician. Uh, talking Victor Matfield, probably the greatest liner te technician ever. Uh, uh, there was an interesting show with Victor Matfield last week, and he was actually showing how how to play a defensive line out, how to limit the options of the the opposition, how to place your uh, your jumpers in certain positions. So you're obviously manipulating the line out so they can only throw to a certain certain place. And I think we're missing that. We're missing someone who's who's, who's, who's of that kind of caliber. But let me let me go through the list that I've got here. So obviously Evan Esbeth. Straight off the bat, he's, he's, he's my first choice. Uh, then we're looking at the next choices. We've got uh, we've obviously got Luot de Jocha. Uh, Ibn Etzebeth and Luot de Jocha have played a, a very, very good combination in the past. They, they went off the boil for a while, but Luot seems like he's back this year. I think he's got uh, he's got quite a uh, good work rate. Uh, he's, he's playing really, really well for the Bulls. So I think... Uh, very very good, but he I think he fits the same kind of mold as 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 an Evan, uh, an enforcer kind of type, and I think I'm I'm looking for someone who's a bit more of, of a caller, uh, a bit more of a game player. Uh, so then we obviously go down the list, and I'd say Peter Steff to Toy. I think uh, he brings something completely different to the party. I know that he has been playing flank, uh, been playing outside of the lock position, so. But yeah, I think uh, Peter Steff de Toy is a, another choice. Uh, the other one is, is Franco Mostert. I, I, I liked Franco Mostert last year. I think he went completely off the boil uh, near the end of the year. I think he's playing way too much rugby. Uh, but maybe being captain of the Lions brings something different. Uh, I, I really like the fact that uh, uh, Victor Matfield was coaching at the Lions last year. Was it was, was bringing some kind of... Uh, uh, input into the lines, but I think, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's just, this Frank and Mustard just seems like a bit off the boil. Uh, so, and then RG Snay one's been playing very, very well. Uh, Ruin Boyce has been playing very, very well, but I don't think that they're they're, they're up there yet. Uh, so the choices are probably Lurt, uh, Peter Steff, and Frank and Mustard. Uh, I think that uh, if if 
if, if I was really, really choosing, uh, I'd probably go for a uh, Eben Etzebeth, uh, Peter Steff de Toy to start, and alert to Jochit to come in as an impact player near the end. Uh, but either or, I think uh, it, 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 that's, a, that's a good combination. But looking specifically towards England, obviously England have got uh, uh, Mario Toje, Joe Launchberry, uh, George Cruz and Courtney Laws. I like Mario Toje. I think he's I think he's a really really good footballer. Uh, he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, uh, actually, I've, I've liked Joe Launchbury too. I think he, he's very very uh, aggressive. Gets over the gain line. So he's, he he fills that role of the enforcer type, and Mario Toje fills that uh, of the line out specialist. So, but I think uh, uh, even Elizabeth uh, with a Peter Steff Detroit easily easily go up against. Uh, Joe Launchbury and uh, Mario Toje, but you know I've got to look at it from 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 a World Cup point of view. You know, so going forward, we need we need some kind of combination. You don't think of Brady Retallick without Sam Whitelock, and and they feed off each other when they're playing at international level. So we need we need we need two locks that that can work together and and are the engine room work in the lineouts. So for me, uh, I'd go for for. Ibn Etzebeth and Peter Steff. Uh, I think uh, that's that should be our combination going forward. But if, w regardless, even an Ibn Etzebeth and a Lurt de Jaja is a good choice. Uh, actually, even a Lurt de Jaja and a, and a Peter Steff, it's, I think that's that's a really, really good combination. But yeah, tell me what you think uh, of, of, of my choices for, for, for the lock. And uh, yeah, let's... Uh, and obviously, this is the second, the second, second of my shows. And uh, but yeah, that, that's my team so far. So so far, I'd I'd, I'd have, I've got uh, Beast at number one, Michael Marks at number two, Vilkalo at number three, Ibn Etzbeth at number four, and Peter Steff at number five. But yeah, if you like my show, please share, uh, please like it. Uh, I'd really like to have more than eighteen subscribers, but uh, early days. But yeah, thanks thanks for watching, and chat to you guys soon. Cheers, bye.